long-term outlook i'm extremely bullish and i think bitcoin is setting up you know beautifully so if we go to the weekly time you know i i recently talked about this weekly <clears throat> jesus christ uh, i recently talked about you know bitcoin's weekly bullish confirmation you know i talked about if uh, the 21 weekly moving average you know crossing above the 50 weekly moving average it is happening right now ladies and gentlemen it is happening you know slowly look at this blue line right here you know once this is confirmed once this blue line crosses above this green line to me that is the beginning <clears throat> that is the beginning of the next bull market but i also have to warn you i have to give you a warning bitcoin's weekly macd is about to turn bearish so bitcoin's weekly macd is about to flip bearish i want you guys to see this right here see the blue line the macd is about to cross below the you know this uh you know orange line and that is a very bearish signal and once this is confirmed you know i think what we are going to see you know we are going to see a a continuation of the pullback on this weekly time frame and the price of bitcoin you know believe it or not could potentially come all the way back here to retest this range right here so from you know 19,000 all the way up to $21,000. So this is a potential price target. This is a potential price target. This range right here. You know, if this is confirmed and if we continue this downtrend. And this right here again this is the last opportunity to accumulate before the next bull market so what you have right now you know, if this downtrend continues if we continue to bleed if we continue to pull back what you have right here is the last opportunity before the next bull market so this is very this is very crucial right here you know very important for your portfolio if you want to maximize returns in this upcoming bull market, you have to be a buyer in this pullback. You have to be a buyer in this pullback if you want to maximize returns. You know, you want to be looking at this as an opportunity, not at the begin not the beginning of a major crash. This is not a crash right here. This is a normal pullback. You know, this was beautiful right here. You know this first this first move that broke you know the long-term downtrend this is exactly what we needed and what we have right now is some breathing room okay so bitcoin is trying to relax you know we are trying to feel for the next maniac and this is going to take some time and this should be viewed as an opportunity for any long-term holder if you're a long-term holder you want to look at this as an opportunity and you want to fully take advantage of this because a couple you know a couple of years from now not too many years just a couple of years from now when the price of bitcoin is above a hundred thousand dollars you know if you look back and you realize that you were actually here when the price of bitcoin was at twenty six thousand and you have all of the advantage but you never fully took advantage you are going to kick yourself you are going guys the last thing that you want to do in the next couple you know years again not too many years talking about the next two years you know the last thing that you want to say the last thing that you want to come out of your mouth is i wish i would have done this you know, those are the words that you need to avoid. You need to avoid these words in two years. You know, I wish I would have done this. You know, take advantage 
while the opportunity is available. So, you know, the weekly time is about to give us a long-term bullish confirmation. You know, the 21 weekly moving average will cross above the 50 weekly moving average, you know, anytime this week or anytime next week. But we also have a bearish confirmation from the Bitcoin weekly MACD. And if this is confirmed, you know, I think Bitcoin is more likely to retest these lows right here around 19,000 all the way up to $21,000, you know, sometimes over the next couple months. And that shouldn't be a surprise because, you know, we talked about this. We talked about Bitcoin's monthly historical performance during the year prior to the Bitcoin halving. So during the year prior to the Bitcoin halving, you know, Bitcoin tends to have, you know, six months of positive returns and six months of negative returns. So far in 2023, the first four months, January, February, March, and April were positive. We just had our first negative monthly return. So May was negative. Bitcoin was down you know, 7% uh, basically. And here we are, you know, this is the 1st of June. And so far, you know, June is negative, uh, but we have, you know, so many more days to go. But I am expecting, I am expecting, you know, another four to six months of negative returns. And I'm also expecting, you know, two more months of positive returns. And remember, these returns, they don't have to be consecutively. You know, positive returns don't have to be consecutively. And negative returns don't have to be consecutively. So maybe June is going to be another green month. But personally, I prefer June to be bearish. And I also prefer July to be bearish. You know, I prefer the, these first three months to be negative. You know, if we can get May, uh, May was negative. If we can get June negative and July negative and maybe August negative, and then if we can get a positive September a negative October and, you know, two positive November and December, you know, I think by the time, you know, by the end of December of 2023, the price of Bitcoin could be above 25,000. You know, I would love to finish 2023 above $25,000. So embrace, you know, the upcoming volatility. I mean, we are inside of the volatility right now. You know, embrace, you know, very long days of boring, you know, Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market not doing anything. I embrace, you know, the old coin market continue to bleeding against Bitcoin you know, embrace a lot of your old coins, retesting their 2022 lows. Embrace, you know, a lot of your old coins, potentially putting in new lows. But what you want to do is you want to look at this as an opportunity. You know, any project that you believe in, this is the time right now. You know, this is crunch time. This is a time to be very strategic. This is a time, you know, to fully be in a position, you know, to continue to believe that after this, you know, what comes after this is something that's very beautiful, something very similar to 2017 when Bitcoin goes from a couple hundred dollars up to $20,000, you know, something very similar to 2020 when Bitcoin goes from $5,000 up to $69,000. You know, you have to believe that the next couple months, you know, are going, not the next couple months, the next two years, you know, are going to be beautiful. 